Tonight on the Consumer Beat, power and you. Another day in the 90s officially brings Westchester its second heat wave this month. After major power outages earlier in July, Con Ed now says things are running pretty smoothly. We saw Westchester's Rob Hoyle reports. Impossible. I cried almost all last night. That was 89-year-old Lillian in the beginning of July when she lost power in her New Rochelle home for two days when the mercury topped 90. Con Ed assured her they would do all they could to make sure it didn't happen again. Lo and behold, they came through. Three cheers for them. Besides the heat, Lillian doesn't like being left in the dark. So when the forecast called for another scorcher, she got nervous. But the power stayed on, and with the humidity a lot lower, she even turned off the A.C. and opened the windows. The wind was blowing, the trees were going back and forth. It was good. Nice to know, though, if it gets hot, you can flip on that switch. And something happens. <laughs> Thousands of Westchester residents lost power in early July. Many on this New Rochelle block headed for air-conditioned stores, while others, like John Frioli, went for the garden hose. But this time around, most are glad they didn't have to go to extremes to keep cool. Seems that the uh, power was steady. Didn't have any, any blinking of the lights or anything, so it looked fine. How grateful are you now that you have power and you have the air conditioning? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> and even though Con Edison isn't reporting any power outages, the message is still conservation. We encourage everyone to conserve because while the supplies are sufficient this summer, they're tight. And for Lillian, that means using the air conditioner only when she needs it. In New Rochelle, Rob Hoyle, News 12, Westchester. May not need that air conditioner tonight. Good for Lillian. Yes. Enjoy that, that air conditioner.